Yo, welcome to Short360 Media. If today is your first time of chancing on my video, please, I'll urge you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Short360 Media GH, on Facebook, Short360 Media, and all other platforms, TikTok, Instagram, it's Short360 Media GH. Now, we are going to be talking about a video I've come across on the social media. But let me put this across. It is high time the youth of this country, Ghana, start looking at things beyond an ordinary. Before you choose a leader, don't look at just a mere things about the leader. Go beyond. When MPP released their manifesto, they told us a whole lot of things. One district, one factory. One constituency, one million, something, something. A whole lot of things they said. And now, I'm here to say it categorically, that one district, one factory is a scam. Many Ghanaians are not aware of it. One district, one factory is a scam. The reason why I say one district, one factory is a scam. Watch this video. When the factory was working, I could use my monthly earnings to support the upkeep of my family. I was even able to use my salary to support my grandchild's senior high school education. If the situation now existed before, I'm not sure I could have supported my grandchild's education. Adwa Numaba is one of the 130 people who were dismissed by Casa Europa Company Limited. Today, she has no job. The man has never defaulted in paying our monthly salaries, but now he owes us more than three months. This is not how it used to be in the past. When the factory had not been supported by government, things were very okay. All that the man used to do for the communities here is unable to do them again. I don't know whether you agree with me that 1D, 1F is a scam. I don't know. And I don't want you to agree with me. It is my opinion. But, you see, when 1D1F came, I was thinking that the government is going to be opening a lot of companies, like in every district, the government is going to be opening companies. That is what I was thinking. Because this leadership lack vision, lack the way to where they are going, they have now frustrated a lot of Ghanaians. You could hear the woman saying vividly that when the company is not in collaboration with the government, you realize that everything was running perfectly. The company owner paid them on time. Everything they are doing was working perfectly. Immediately, this government come in collaboration with the company. The whole thing gets mess. And up to now, the company is owing them three months. How could a government that is eager to improve infrastructure and improve the economy of the country end up collapsing these companies? Why? Why? This is why I'm telling the youth of this country that it is not every manifesto of government or of political person you have to fall for. You need to go beyond the, what's the name, the, the, the manifesto. Well, to me, I tell you, this government has woefully failed and woefully, even woefully is not, is even understatement. The name has always been crazy, aka, with all due respect, this nonsense must stop and truly the nonsense will stop. No amount of lies will defeat the truth. Please subscribe to this channel. The next one that is coming is going to be bombed. We will scrutinize them. We will put them on their toe. We will let the youth get to know that. No. Enough is enough how the leaders are running this country. I'm out.